It's insane how quick this blitz comes in. Like I said, one more time, guy's not really getting blocked. Doesn't trigger blocking animation with the with the uh, the tackle or the running back. Neither one of them does a thing, and we're coming right in for an easy sack. <laughs> Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some blitzes for you today. I'm in my Kansas City Chiefs ebook one more time. Um, I put out a blitz last week twice. I put it out in gameplay and I put it out in a uh, in a regular practice mode like I am now out of the Big Nickel OG. And I said if you guys want to see more blitzes, hit the like button. And you did that. So I'm going to give you guys another blitz out of this ebook. Uh, but if you want to see the full thing, link in the description below. I highly recommend it. One of the best pass defensive playbooks in the game. Uh, one of the reasons that I'm doing a lot of practice mode videos this week is because I'm updating my ebooks, uh, including the Kansas City Chiefs, which is already uh, fully updated. I'm going to show you guys a blitz today um, that is, you know, out of the, the old school $326. Dollar. The dollar is not as good as it was in years past, but this is still one of the glitchier blitzes in the game. Uh, I'm going to be bringing back edge, um, some edge heat here. Uh, if I can find the play, there it is, the Edge Blitz 3. I already put out, earlier in the year as well, I already put out a defense, a pass defense I use quite a bit out of the Cross 3 Fire Press. So I'll try to put a link in the description for people that didn't catch that. But that's a very good uh, defense when it comes to uh, pass defense. This is going to be a very good blitz. So we're going to go, we're going to pick the Edge Blitz 3. I'm pretty sure my personnel is all set up. Uh, but the pressure is going to come from this guy, Anthony Hamilton. So make sure you have a speed guy there, but I'm not going to make any adjustments. I'm just going to run this as is. So as far as the setup goes, it's actually really easy to set up. You don't have to sacrifice any coverage at all, um, aside from the five guys that are already blitzing. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, shift my defense to the left. Then I'm going to hit D-pad to the left and right to make sure that they slant in that direction. I want this guy to be in a little bit closer. I don't want him out so far. He, it's not going to matter um, if he gets picked up or not because you're going to see how it still works out. And then I'm going to bring this guy down here. I'm going to put him on a blitz because that's going to be my coverage guy anyway. And I'm going to guess pass. I'm going to drop back. I'm not going to stay here long. I'm just going to stay here long enough to pull to get this guard to give me attention. And then you can see we had the guy right in the corner quarterback's ear uh, we'll go to the replay because obviously I wasn't watching um, I was just trying to get back in coverage in time but this is going to be a pretty consistent look that you get this guy here is a pretty glitchy edge blitzer um, I'm going against one of the best offensive lines in the game by the way I didn't pick a slouch line I picked a really good line in the Raiders but watch what this guy does this is something that a lot of these blitzes for some reason they just run right around uh, the running back and the uh, the right tackle which, you know, I mean, a lot of times I put out a blitz early here and it got patched pretty quick where for some reason I just feel like these linemen don't recognize blitzing DBs or something like that. And this is one of those plays. This is the second play I put out. The first play I put out like this, they, they patched like right away. Um, this one here, you know, I don't know if they're going to patch it right away or not. But my plan is to put out so many blitzes that they can't patch them all. That's kind of the, the idea here. And this is definitely going to be one of the better ones. So like I said, you can see right here, the running back's just sitting right there. Doesn't do anything. I don't know how he even got out. He, he barely got the throw off me. I think that's some BS. That should have been a sack. But ultimately, you can see, I mean, this is just, you know, he's just he's just looping past two guys. So we'll do that a couple times. Like I said, one of the better things about this, you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, um, which is really nice. <laughs> so, like I said, we're slanting the defense to, uh, we're shifting the entire defense, my bad. That's RBR1, then uh, left stick to the left. And then, like I said, bring this guy in because, like I said, the, the it's almost like the lineman doesn't see him anyway. So there's no reason to have him out all the way that far. So we can bring him in as close as we want, really, because he's going to get ISO with that right tackle. So, like I said, we have that. Then we're just going to guess pass, which we always do, and we want to uh, shift our D-line to the left. This is a pretty easy setup. It's not really too bad of a setup. And then I'm just going to come right here. Like I said, I just want to occupy this guard. I'm not even entirely sure if me coming down to this gap is 100% important. Uh, and then last but not least, if I want to shift my coverage around a little bit, maybe bring this guy down a little bit closer to the tight end, I can do that. But it's really, you know, this is all about the blitz. And then I'm going to drop back. I don't have to worry about that that uncovered uh, receiver because that's my first assignment. So I'm going to drop right back into that guy the second I can get off this line here. And then you can see we get pressure again, although I think it was a different guy this time. Might have to go to the replay to check. So the coverage was definitely there. As you can see, the quarterback had nowhere to throw. I think this guy might have got picked up. Um, as you can see right here, no, he trips. He, he doesn't really get picked up, but he trips over the foot of the running back. 
uh, which still didn't, you know, it didn't trigger any type of blocking animation. So, you know, we get a secondary guy because ultimately that lineman was turned around. Uh, and then this, uh, the other guy comes in the blitz, which, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, both of these guys really aren't getting picked up. That's one of the things about this particular play. They're both kind of coming in free. Nobody really picks them up. And then we're getting a sack uh, from the second rusher. It looks like we had a third guy coming in, too. So, I mean, this play, you're definitely going to get a lot of heat from a play like this. That's the bottom line. I'm going to put my fastest cornerback at that spot because I really didn't remember to do that. So, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do that real quick. And then we're going to go right back into this blitz, the edge blitz three, one more time. Like I said, now i got a really fast guy out here. Um, so that really should pay dividends uh, for this blitz. So let's go and let's do this one more time. Like I said, you're not really sacrificing any coverage here. Um, let's go ahead and let's see what, uh, let's see if a little bit more athleticism can fly off of that edge. And then sure enough, I mean, we're getting, we're getting pressure from all over. So <laughs> he's getting, uh, barely getting the throw out. So I'm going to the replay kind of for my benefit because I can't really watch to see what's happening. I'm kind of, you know, I'm trying to drop back in coverage so I don't get beat up the seam uh, by this, by this inside receiver. Just trying to mimic a game mode as much as possible. Um, but ultimately you can see this guy here. I switch out my fastest cornerback and watch what happens. This is the same result as the previous plays. Um, he just doesn't really trigger a blocking animation. It's something that I've noticed in certain DB blitzes in this game. And when he comes in, I mean, I wish he wasn't taking such a wide looping angle. But when he comes in, as he isolates this guy here, um, you can see there's no real blocking animation. He just kind of, he gets in the way. You know what I mean? Like, he does, he recognizes it enough. But you can see there's no real hand fighting. There's no suction into the blocks. There's no, um, like, the normal blocking animation you get, like, on the other side here. This is what a blocking animation looks like. This is, like, them hand fighting, tying up. That's what you typically get, where both of the blitzers, neither one of them really gets that. So this guy here, he gets caught up a little bit, but it's almost like he's just, you know, running in an inanimate object and eventually runs through it, which is why I said this is a really glitchy blitz. He just runs right through that. The unsung hero of this play, too, by the way, this guy here, the other blitzer, um, who I haven't really highlighted, got a sack on one of the plays. And then on this play here, I mean, he comes in, and he takes up the running back, and I guess Chris Jones comes off his block. Uh, I mean, ultimately, that's one of the he's one of the more important guys when it comes to this blitz because he definitely takes up, he definitely occupies blocking. And you can see he also kind of twists up uh, 61 here. If you can see at the start of the play, that's the reason that Chris Jones gets off. So he starts off with Chris Jones, then he decides to try to switch over to the looping guy. And then, I mean, it just basically turns into like switch blitz pressures where um, these, these two linemen, especially 66 and 61 here, just kind of get caught up. There's three guys coming. They just kind of switch off and off and off until eventually you get a free guy in. I mean, I don't really think I need to, but we're going to do it one more time just for, for posterity. And then we're going to go. We're going to finish up this video. Um, but like I said, really, really just said, that's one of the best things about this play. The setup's really not that hard. I'll definitely have the, the setup in the description. Uh, as long as I'm for, I hope I'm not forgetting anything right now, but I'm going through it again just to make sure that I have it all right, set up right. But this is pretty much it. Based off the fact that there is a, isn't a huge setup, you can also take the time to move your your um, your safeties down, which I think probably would make the most sense. Based off the fact that you will have a little extra time, nine times out of ten, just got to get in this gap. And then sure enough, we're getting that animation. Once again, the guy just doesn't get blocked. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, more blitzes, do me a favor, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section because I like to put out more. Other than that, if you want to see uh, the full ebook, all that stuff, links in the description below. You can hit my Join Now community tab. You can uh, join on my Patreon, get all that stuff on one of those. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.